Morning everyone and welcome back onto the farm with Tooning Lee in Thailand. And where are you off, missus? Walk about. <laughs> walk about? We've not got time for walking about. We're farmers, aren't we? Where are we going? What are we doing? Go check the water in the palm. Or check the palm in the water. <laughs> they are underwater, some of them. Uh, we've had some really heavy rain the last the last week or two and the the land the gradient of the land is struggling to cope draining it away so we're gonna have a walk around and uh, see if we can free up some channels to get this water to drain off a little bit better you can see here we need to get the water from about there to about here of course this has occurred mainly because the gradient of our, our land comes down to this area here uh, but it was accentuated by us building up the, the sides of the lake here, or the start of the lake. So uh, we're going to have a walk around the outside of the lake and then see where we can we can free up this water, if at all possible. It's full of little fish and bugs in here at the moment. We did try and get the ducks in here the other week, but uh, they kept on going AWOL. Uh, we'd like to try again, but uh, it's keeping them penned in that's, uh, that's the tricky bit. The geese just shoot off everywhere as well, they're a bit of a nightmare. Um, but ideally we'd like to, to get the ducks in here and help clear it all. The water's actually joined up now to the quicksand pond where the macro, when they were digging the lake, uh, sank. He got into some real trouble in there. It's also the scene of where Toon and I did some lift netting for wild fish. Did quite well in there. Toon got nipped by a crab. So if you've not seen, seen that video, I'll put a link at the end of this one. So that's quite deep. That'll probably be up to about my, my chest there. So we'll keep walking around, see where we can uh, make some improvements. We've seen some big mushrooms growing. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah, but you don't know if you can eat them, missus. Here. How you know? Mm, no ring in there, can I? Uh, I think you'll need to show it to your mum. Can mm, I? But leave them in, we'll get them on the way back and then we'll, we'll take them to your mum. Mm. I'll tell you what I'm not going to eat though. Is that one that's behind you. <laughs> it looks like an alien mushroom, where is it? Wow, you definitely can eat this, definitely. Check out this. I thought it was a giant pig's ear. I'm gonna dig it in. Okay. Oh, I think it's the same one. Yeah. What? More under there, are they? Yeah. yeah, but before you get excited, you need to know whether that will kill you if I you know, eat it. I know, my kewa can eat. So you're just going to leave it in the full sun to uh, turn to leather. There's the ditch that was created, cut through the temporary road there. That comes onto the uh, island. So that's still full. Keep searching. So we haven't found yet where we can free up the water, but as well as finding a load of mushrooms that may well be poisonous, we've also got quite a little bit of morning glory growing here. Amazing stuff once the, the rains come. So we're going to come back this way on the way back to the house and we're going to uh, stock up with this and we'll have that for lunch and uh, for dinner tonight. The problem being I'm, I'm, I'm now walking on my dinner. Never mind. Coming to the furthest point of the lake now. That's bloody filling up quick this this is now. It is. I'm hungry just looking at it. I'm gonna say we'll have it for lunch and dinner, but we're not had any breakfast yet. I think we'll be having it for brekkie. See, only a couple of years ago, wife used to feed me breakfast, lunch, dinner time. Now not so much. 
Lucky we not got KFC here, I'll be living on that. It's hard to pick up on the camera, but that's full of water in here. This is the, the area that we did the rice farming before. Eucalyptus over yonder is uh, doing really well. Still got to sort out all this area. I've got a sneaky feeling everywhere is just waterlogged. And the problem is next door is pretty much full as well. So if their levels are high, our water can't push through. I'm pretty sure that's what's occurring. If that's the case, no amount of digging's gonna have much of an impact, but the other option we've got is to move our pump out of the lake and uh, put that where the palms is and then repurpose the water somewhere else. At the moment we're pumping into where we let the ducks out, so. Oh, Toon's digging. Maybe she's found a, a dam. It's probably the old dam that we put in when we did rice the other year. Is that it, Toon? Was there any water going through it? Tiny bit. Yeah. The problem is, Toon, that yeah, that water's just standing still. It's not going anywhere. I reckon it's full all the way to next door. Yeah. That's it. It can't go anywhere then, can it? Water still can go, but slow. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, and it's coming up from the ground as well, don't forget. I think it starts on the other end of the pipe. That's where it's going out. If we can't get it to go up faster there, we're stuck. Seems collecting pack bung before we move on. I don't know whether you can see, but gangs down there. Useless dog, never catches anything. She's looking for rats or something. At least she tries, not like the other two. All out. Always playing in water, that girl. How do we? Quite nice today, not, not any direct sun. Quite heavy cloud cover. Still warm, but warm and humid. Start itching now. Yeah, this long weed grass. Sunny gang that likes it. Right. Pack bong everywhere. We've got a few friends that come to the farm once or twice a week. We let them pick this and take this for free. There's more here than we could possibly eat or collect for the animals. So, And it actually helps it by, by regularly cutting it because you want the ends nice and fresh. If you let them get too old, it's like eating a piece of rope. And the ducks don't like it either like that. They like the fresh stuff. Good ground cover anyway. Why are you so excited about that bit? Is it? Look at that. Monsters. That's like a, a Big Mac equivalent of a pack bung, isn't it? <laughs> Big stuff. Gang so much. Gang some put malum leaf with it. Put dog hair with it. So much vegetation around here. This is all moon rock as well. So the plan is when the main dig of the lake continues, the topsoil off the central island bits is going to make its way up to here. So we're going to get a nice bed of proper soil here and then plant our trees into that. But for now, I don't mind morning glory being everywhere on it. Tunes off going back to the uh, mushrooms. I'm going to be a lightweight and walk back along here. My delicate skin, I'll get cut to ribbons. So uh, if I lose my uh, good looking legs, then uh, no more modelling contracts. They can't plant their rice at the moment. Good for killing all the weeds and rotting the roots down. 
ducks have been in here a couple of times. We let them out um, about three days ago. We had to get them back in quick smart. The rice paddies behind that you can see are green. Uh, the farmers were out spraying God knows what. It uh, gave me a headache. So uh, even the, do the dogs ran for cover. So um, we grabbed hold of the ducks and uh, put them all back in here. Thick as mince that duck, look at it on its own, can't find its way back in. Useless bunch of feathers. Right then. What I have got planned to help irrigation in the summertime, I've just done it temporary just to see how far I can get the water to go up. When we pump water in here, uh, I've just created a bit of a temporary channel and got the water to go halfway down there, no problem at all. So we're going to get a, a mini macro in, a mini digger, and we're going to take this channel all the way down there, do a U-turn, and then come round the other side of the palms and back into here. So your palms need lots of water, but uh, they don't like their feet wet. It's a system that a lot of palm farms use. And it's another good way for us to uh, move the water around on the land. We just want to try and utilise as much water available to us as possible in the best way we can. Uh, we've even considered making channels um, back over where the, the palms are over here. But uh, that's beyond Caesar. That's, uh, that's a big tractor. Uh, maybe even a, a digger as well. So, all plans constantly evolving our land. Remember, it's still early, 18 months into it now. And uh, although we're, we're happy with the progress, we're still, we're still pushing on and uh, trying to come up with new ideas and improving things and becoming more streamlined. Right, let's go and get those mushrooms. I tell you what, I'm getting peckish.
Well, we're done for today. So, not really productive for taking care of the water, but unlike Toon's foraging. Now, Toon's asked on her Thai channel as well uh, what these mushrooms are. We're going to take a selection of them into the village now, get them ID'd by people that have eaten them and that haven't died, uh, and then hopefully we'll have um, a mushroom fest with our pak bung. If, the, uh, if they're all right, then there's loads more growing, so we should be good. Right, guys, thanks for watching. 500 baht per mushroom. Per mushroom? That's a bargain. You see how... How... How big they are. <laughs> They're beautiful. Please, everyone, anyone know if you can eat them. Very interesting if you could tell us what species they are. Um, and if and when we find out, we'll, uh, we'll post as well. Alright, we're done then. Okay guys, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you soon. Yeah. She not even said it. Ta-da! Festival delivery. <laughs> <laughs>